Well, I'm just putting the finishing touches on my workbench. You're looking at the handle I made for my vise. The center dowel is a piece of lignum vitae, and the end caps are Mopani. And I threaded these together with a 12 TPI thread chaser. I thought this would be a nice touch, and I can always just uh, unscrew one of the caps and remove my handle if I need to. So stay tuned, and I'm going to show you a lot of close-up views and show you around my wood turner's workbench. Now over the past month I've been working on a project that's a little bit removed from wood turning. I made a workbench. And this video I'm going to show you all the components and the features of my workbench. I'm calling it a wood turner's workbench, although if you're a woodworker you could make this bench. It's going to have a shoulder vise, no end vise. I've got uh, hold fasts, and I'll show you those. I'll give you a little bit of a tour here in just a second. Now, what really inspired me to make this particular workbench at this size, it's 47 inches, by about 30, and I'll go over the dimensions later on. <laughs> well, I've got to give a shout out and a thank you to my wife, Cheryl. All during this process, she was there helping me turn this bench upside down and move it around. It's pretty heavy, so I appreciate that, and uh, she's probably glad this project is over. So anyway, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm glad it's over. <laughs> okay. Don't make another one. <laughs> All right. Now, what inspired me to make this particular workbench? I was looking on the internet, looking at pictures of shaker style workbenches, European workbenches, and I ran across a workbench made by a gentleman named Dami Druno. Okay. And he's got about 10 videos making that bench, and it's so cool. If you're a woodworker, you'll probably love the machinery he's got and the tools for assembling that particular workbench. But what drew me to this bench was Lake Erie Tool Works, and they make a two inch, I think it's like a two inch threaded screw for the, the vices. It's got a two TPI thread on it. It's a massive wooden screw. Well. I didn't use that because I already had a steel screw and I used that for my shoulder vise. But anyway, I'll put links to all those things, Lake Erie Tool Works and uh, Dami Druno and the, his videos. I watched every one of the videos. They're just really fascinating. And if you're putting together a bench like this, that might be a good place to start. But also after I put this one up, I've got five other videos that show how I made this particular bench. And I'll put uh, a link to a playlist in the description. I'm gonna put all those videos up at the same time. They're all gonna be right there, but you can watch this one first. You can see all the features I got in, on this bench and why I call it a wood turner's workbench. Now in 1987, I made a very large workbench. It's probably six and a half or seven feet long. Right now it's in storage, but it's got a proper shoulder vise and an end vise. And at the time I said, that's the best piece of furniture I ever made. It's really amazing. This one's a little smaller. I don't plan on building china cabinets or furniture, but anyway, this will be a really good sized workbench to do some woodworking activities. Now, shortly after I made my first bench, it's a German style bench, I bought another set of screws. I used one of them in the shoulder vise right here. This is uh, actually the tail vise screw. It's a little bit longer. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that, but I bought that from Garrett Wade, 1987, because my intention was to build another bench that was better. Well, 
I think I accomplished that. I think this is a pretty cool little bench. Now let me give you a little bit of a tour around my bench and I'll show you the features of this Wood Turner's Workbench. Alright, now I'll give you some more close-ups of my dovetails. I think uh, they turned out pretty well. But here's one of the features I've got on this bench. It's a shelf right here. And my initial intention was to have this available for a small lathe. And I would probably put some supports like, like some legs or something here to support that. But I think that would handle very nicely a small lathe. And I measured the distance from the top of this shelf to the floor. It's about 32 inches, which is a good height for uh, setting a little lathe. So anyway, other than that, I can use it for tools or just a little clutter area, which I often have. Okay, now let me take you underneath my shelf and show you the large hinge brackets that I use, and they're really pretty cool. And then I'm going to just kind of walk around generally the uh, outside of the workbench here, showing you first my dovetails, which I'm pretty happy with. They came out fairly well. It's been a while since I've made any hand-cut dovetails. The outside frame or apron of my workbench is mahogany. And the top is maple and cherry, and I'll show you that. There's the other end of my workbench. And now we're coming around the far end where my shoulder vise is. That's a backup view of the entire bench with the shelf. And on top, I've got two hole fasts. I've got um, eight holes for different configurations where I can use my hold fasts. And here I am whacking them in, and I'll tell you what, they're pretty cool. They, uh, they're going to come in very handy. Now I'm showing you one view of my shoulder vise. Here's that steel rod threaded screw that I mentioned I got from Garrett Wade. Now this is a piece of Paduke and it's really cool right now. It's just going to darken with age and turn purple, but I've got it faced with leather. I've got this part of my uh, frame on the top of my workbench framed with leather. Now please keep in mind I have an entire video on putting this shoulder vise together. What I have here is a little block of walnut. It's uh, nearly two inches thick. And that's a spacer block. And that helps hold my vise together and helps the vise to operate. All right, now I'm calling this a wood turner's workbench, although if you're a woodworker, this bench would uh, serve you very well, I believe. Now, the top of this board right here is beveled. And I've got a fixture I'm going to put in there. And this is also angled to match that bevel on the top of my, my vise. And what I've got here, this is a way to clamp different bits of wood. I've got a corresponding part of this jig lined with sandpaper, and that fits right in here. And what I have here is the ability to clamp. Now I should also mention that these profiles I have in here, here's a V, here's a larger V, there's uh, just a little uh, round section. And I can put pen blanks or other items I'm, I'm turning in here. Let me put this one in, this larger piece. And all i got to do is line those up. And I can clamp that in there. Whoop! I can clamp that in there. And I can mark my centers. 
and I can hold that very securely. If I need to drill something, I can drill it. And I think that's a pretty cool idea. Now here's another uh, small bit of round wood that I can put in there and do something with that. And it's held securely in my vise. All right, let's put one more item in there. I've got a pen blank that I can clamp in there. And I could drill that if I wanted to. And I think that's a pretty good addition to this workbench. And I can do different configurations. I can cut uh, different profiles in there if I need to later on. Well, there you have it. Wood Turner's workbench. Let me leave you with the dimensions of my bench. I mentioned that. Now, the length of my bench is right at 37 and a half inches. From this area right here to the far end is 37 inches. If I were to open up my vise completely, I would have a space in here four and a half inches. The face of the vise is 14 inches. Anyway, if you make a bench like this, it kind of depends on what you're planning on doing with it. This could be a nice small bench for a garage or a smaller workshop. Anyway, kind of sad it's all done, but I'm happy it's done too. So stay tuned for the videos. I'm going to put those all out. And a shout out to everybody who inspired me on this bench. Dami Druno, whose videos are just really, really amazing. So you got to check that out. Now I should mention that Lake Erie Toolworks makes parts for workbenches, the screws and different items. You can check that out if you're making a bench. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging in there. Please share this with other wood turners or woodworkers. And this might be a good project for a lot of you guys and ladies out there watching. I appreciate you tuning in and uh, I'm going to go to work here. Talk to you later.